Okay, next up is Mr. Lena, Forest Princess. It's a six costing Swordcraft follower. Its rarity is gold and it has the trait Natura. So, unevolved, accelerate one, put a princess's strike in DM hand. Ward and fanfare, put a princess's strike in DM hand. If there are fewer allied followers than enemy followers in play, recover two play points. And the princess's strike is a two costing shadowcraft spell, it's gold and it also has the trait Natura. And it reads, randomly deal 3 damage to one of the strongest enemy followers in play. If an ally in the Terran Grey Tree is in play, deal 5 damage instead. Give Storm to a random ally, Mistelina Forest Princess. Okay, next. We have Elegance in Action, which is a 2 passing Swordcraft spell. Its rarity is gold and it has no trait. It reads, draw a card, summon a heavy knight for each follower drawn. Deal 3 damage to a random enemy follower for each non-follower drawn. Enhance 5, draw 3 cards instead. So for those who don't know what heavy knight is, so the heavy knight is a one costing Soulcraft follower. It's bronze and, it's, and it has the trait officer. It is a 1-2 and when it's evolved it becomes a 3-4. Alright, moving on. So next up we have Swift Tigress, which is a 5 costing Soulcraft follower. Its rarity is silver and it has the trait Natura. So unevolved, it has Rush and Fanfare. If an allied Natarian Grey Tree is in play, recover 3 play points. Enhance 8, gain Storm. Alright, next. So we have a reprint of a card from a previous block. And I believe it's his name is pronounced Vaults. So we have Vaults Champion Deadeye, which is a 2 costing Swordcraft follower. His rarity is silver and it has the trait Officer. So unevolved, Fanfare, Enhance 6. Banish an enemy follower or am amulet. Sorry. Evolved, destroy an enemy follower with 3 defense or less. Okay, so in the uh, previous the previous print of Vault is that uh, when you played him, you had the choice of picking the spell that would either banish the enemy for or amulet, or the spell that would destroy a creature with three, three defense or less. So I like how they changed it up where it becomes a fanfare and evolved ability. So that's pretty good. Okay, so moving on. Okay, next up we have Tempered Ether, which is a one costing Swordcraft spell. Its rarity is silver and it has the trait Natura. And it reads Put a Natarian Grey Tree into your hand. If this is your fifth turn or later, recover one play point. If this is your tenth turn or later, give plus one plus one to all allied followers. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. I can see this being used as a late game card. It's pretty good. Alright, next. We have Adept Thief, which is a 3 costing Swordcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has the trait Officer. Unevolved, Fanfare. Choose. Put either a Galded Boots or a Galded. If I'm pronouncing it properly, it's Gilded or Gald? Gilded? I can't believe it's pronounced Gilded. So, you can either put a Gilded Boots or a Gilded Necklace into your hand. And for those who don't know what the, that is, so you have the Gilded Boots, which is a one costing spell. It gives your follower a rush. And the 
the nexus, necklace sorry, is also a one costing spell that gives plus one plus one to an allied follower. Okay, moving on. So we have a Leaven Scholar, which is a five costing Soulcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has the trait Leaven. So we have another Leaven card now. Unevolved, it has Ward and Fanfare. Randomly put two different Leaven cards, excluding Leaven Scholar, from your deck into your hand. Okay, so it's pretty good. Pretty straightforward. I like the design. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so next up we have a loop, Lupin Axeman. Or Lupine Axeman, if I'm pronouncing it properly. I think it's Lupin. Okay, so it's a two costing soil craft follower. Rarity is bronze and it has the trait Natura. So unevolved, fanfare. Put in the tearing great tree into your hand. If there are fewer ally followers than enemy followers in, followers in play, recover one play point. Okay, it's pretty good. All right, all right. So moving on to the Shadowcraft class. First off, we're starting with Throth, which is a two-costing creature. It's legendary and it has no trait. Unevolved Fanfare. If at least 10 ally cards with last word effects have been destroyed this match, give your leader the following effect. Whenever an ally follower or amulet comes into play, give it last words. Deal 2 damage to the enemy leader. This effect is not stackable and lasts for the rest of the match. Last words, draw a card. Okay, I actually like that. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so we have Helio. Sas Sacrosanct Spirit. Which is a three costing Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is gold and it has no trait. Unevolved Fanfare. Enhance 7. Evolve this follower. Last words give your leader the following effect. At the end of your opponent's turn, summon a zombie, then remove this effect. Last words. When it's evolved, give your leader the following effect. At the end of your opponent's turn, summon a Lich, then remove this effect. So for those who don't know what a Lich is, alright, next up. have a Immortal Elephant, which is a 5 costing Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is gold and it has the trait Natura. Unevolved, can't be targeted by enemy spells and effects. Last words, give a random allied Natura Great Tree. Last words, summon an elephant, an Immortal Elephant. Same as the evolved, I mean the unevolved. Alright, moving on. Okay, next we have a Guilt Existential Blader, which is a A costing Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is silver and it has no trait. So, unevolved. Accelerate 1. Destroy Allied Follower. Destroy an ally follower. Draw two cards. And it has Rush. Okay, next. So we have a Knight of the Living Dog. Which they play on words for the uh, Knight of the Living Dead, for those who know about the movie. 
actually pretty good, pretty great. You should, uh, you guys should go and watch that. Okay, so uh, Night of the Living Dog is a Wong cost being Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is silver, and it has the trait Natura. Unevolved, it has Rush. Whenever an allied Natarian Great Tree is destroyed, you gain plus two, plus two. Okay, next. Okay, so we have a Necromantic Ether, which is a one cost in Shadowcraft spell. Its rarity is silver and it has the trait Natura. And it reads Put an Atarian Grey Tree into your hand. If this is your fifth turn or later, recover one play point. If this is your tenth turn or later, reanimate four. We have a Soul Snatcher, which is a four costing Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has no trait. Unevolved Fanfare Necromancy 3 Summon a Zombie. Okay, next. Okay, so we already covered the uh, vengeful. Possession in the previous video, so we're gonna skip that. Okay, so we have a Revenant Ram, which is a two cost Stained Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it also has the trait Natura. So, unevolved fanfare. Put in a Terran Grey Tree into your hand. Last words gain one shadow. It's the same when it's evolved. Next. We have a Lonesome Spectre, which is a 5 cost in Shadowcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has no trait. Unevolved, last words. Give your leader the following effect. At the end of your opponent's turn, summon. summon two ghosts, then remove this effect. Okay. Alright, so next up. Okay, so we're moving on now to the uh, Bloodcraft class. Now first off, we're starting with Yuzuki, Righteous Demon, which is a 7 costing legendary follower. Has no trait, so unevolved. Accelerate two. Destroy an enemy follower with four defense or less. Deal two damage to your leader. Fanfare. Destroy two enemy followers. If vengeance is not active for you, give your leader the following effect. At the start of your next turn, recover two less play points. Next up, we have a Cradle of Dark Divinity, which is a 7 costing Bloodcraft follower. Its rarity is legendary and it also has the trait Natura. So, unevolved, restore 3 defense to your leader. If an allied Natarian Grey Tree is in play, gain the ability to evolve for 0 evolution points. Evolved. Give your leader the following effect. At the end of your turn, if you have at least 8 cards in your hand, randomly discard cards until you have 7 cards in your hand. Then deal X damage to the enemy leader. X equals 2 times the number of cards discarded. At the start of your turn, draw 1 card. These effects are not stackable and last for the rest of the match. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So for every card that's discarded, you deal X damage times 2. 
All right, moving on. We have AFO. Man, I hope I pronounced this properly. <laughs> okay, so we have a Sharon Zaya. Sharon Zaya. Sorry, okay, I pronounced it properly. Sharon Zaya. Mask Mayhem. Excuse me. Okay, so it's a five costing Bloodcraft follower. Its rarity is gold and it has no trait. Unevolved. It has Bane and Fanfare. If at least two cards were added to your hand from your deck this turn, give this follower Storm. And it has Bane when it's evolved, the same as the unevolved. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Next up. Okay, so we have. Night Prowl Vampire, which is a six costing Bloodcraft follower. Its rarity is gold and it also has the uh, trait Natura. Unevolved, Crystallize 1, Countdown 1. Last words If it is your turn, put a random Natarian card from your deck into your hand. If it is your opponent's turn, draw a card. Fanfare, Deal 2 damage to an enemy follower. If an ally in the Terran Grey Tree is in play, deal 2 damage to all enemy followers instead. Alright, next. We have Yuna, Vampire Seeker, which is a 4 costing Bloodcraft follower. Rarity is silver and it has no trade. Unevolved. Draw cards in there until there are five cards in your hand. Next up. We have a frenzied werewolf, which is a three cost thing blood craft follower. Its rarity is silver and it has the mature trade. So unevolved, it has Rush, Fanfare, if an allied Natarian Grey Tree is in play, gain Bane. Okay, so I like this card. The uh, cost is reasonable and the effects are not bad. So that's pretty good. Alright, next. Okay, so we have a Lunatic Aether. Which is a one costing Bloodcraft spell. Its rarity is silver and it has the Natarian trait. And it reads Put a Natarian Grey Tree into your hand. If this is your fifth turn or later, recover one play point. If this is your tenth turn or later, deal three damage to the enemy leader and restore three defense to your leader. Okay, that's not bad. Does at least two or three things. It's pretty good. Okay, so moving on. So, what? I don't know if I'd be able to pronounce this right. So, we have a Larage, if I'm pronouncing it properly. We have Larage, which is a two cost thing. Bloodcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has no trait. Unevolved, fanfare, draw a card. Pretty straightforward. Next up. So we have a Ogre Champion. Which is a three costing Bloodcraft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it has no trait. Unevolved, fanfare. If at least two cards were added to your hand from your deck this turn, deal three damage to an enemy follower. And hand six, gain plus three plus three. 
okay. Not bad. Alright, moving on. Okay, so we have a corrupted bat, which is a two costing blood craft follower. Its rarity is bronze and it also has the Naturion trait. So, unevolved fanfare. Put a Naturion gray tree into your hand. If vengeance is active for you, gain plus one, plus zero, and ward. Next. Okay, so we have Deal with the Devil, which is a two costing Bloodcraft spell. Rarity is Bronze, no trait. Deal 5 damage to a random ally follower and a random enemy follower. Both players draw a card. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. The only drawback is that you have to deal 5 to one of your creatures. Okay. Alright, next up. 